So it's been a little while since we've been out. Um, I've been doing some other work. Got my pal Will with me. You like Will? So we're going to use the kayak to get to the boat instead of swimming. All loaded up. What a day, man. Look at it. That's absolutely flat. Got it. What have we got? Yoo-hoo! It's one of the um, eels. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. Smells like success. <laughs> we hey! We're in business. We can fish here for a minute. Bottom, bottom. You've got it really loaded. Yeah, right. Notice I'm checking out the fish finder. This is helping me find which depth the fish are at. Yeah, straight away. What's going on over there with your rod? Yeah, got a couple. That's a bad one. Come on, we're all getting bold. <laughs> we'll see about that. We're <laughs> okay while the sun shines. We're back from here. We're taking. Just picking up mackerel, which is quite nice actually, um, and then we're going to go out to the wreck. I know we're not keeping score, but I'm on one and a half and you're on two. Got a half. Got a half. Launces or lances, giant sand eels, often found with mackerel. We'll have to go for some ling in a bit. Mackerel and whiting are going to cover the cost of the fuel for this trip. Then we're going to target a ling. I've never caught one, and I'm pretty keen to catch one. We'll catch a fish on that now, like, uh, half goes on my tail. <laughs> oh no, it's a beauty. What are you on about? It's more than, my it's eyes a, are not a, great. My eyes mini, are not great. mini tuna fish. Oh, where's the fish cam? Oh! <laughs> uh, good job with your two there, Tom. Well, well, good effort. Good try. We've been fishing for about five minutes. We're quite close in. Uh, fishing in a depth of about 16 meters. Biggest fish caught by Will. Oh, uh, he had to say that, didn't he? <laughs> Some cruise ship, it's a beast. I'm going to introduce uh, Will to catching whiting now. Great sandwich, Will. Nice. Nice course. So, we're going to go and have a go at these whiting for a minute. Um, they're on the bottom, they're a bottom feeding fish. They're really tangly fish, so when you when you bring them up, they just they wrap around everything, they get tied up. I don't know how, they just do. When you pull them up, are they mostly small? Our size limit is 27 centimetres or 270 millimetres. So it's a, you know, it's a 300 mil fish, isn't it? So it's probably like that. Really, what we want? Fish like this. Yeah. They cook in the oven for about 15 minutes. Yeah. 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 Yeah
the lances, the smaller bait fish that we caught earlier in the day. He's also now looking at the rod that I'm using <coughs> and we've gone for a very simple zip slider with a weight on it and there's a, a fillet of mackerel and it's hooked only once and it should um, stop it bunching up, that's what we're saying there, and it should swim quite nicely in the water. I've got a nice tasty pollock. Look at that, that is fish and chip sized pollock. <laughs> I always think pollock is better after a couple of days on the ice. I think it's too soft when you first get it. And you're like, I won't let you give a whole mackerel to a seagull. <laughs> That's <laughs> tribute is for a ling, no <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> what, so even if it's a small you've ling? You've got to pay the gods. Oh man, now you've said it, you've almost got to do it, but I, I'm so reluctant. I think I want to be like here, you know? And he's in! I hope it stays on. It's a good one. That not be a power. If it is, it's a super sized one. Unlike the whiting, this fish was giving me a good little scrap all the way up to the surface. Nice solid bite on it. It's a ling! Right, hold that. that. Try and get hand in him or something. Got a gill? Yes! <laughs> oh, swim bladder's gone, poor thing. No, oh, they do, apparently. But he's being kept. <laughs> he's only got a big fish! We're both totally yeah, stoked with this fish. This is what we came out here to do today, and we got Well, that was a teamwork, though. Well, was keeping the boat head to tide, and I was fishing off go. the stern. Oh, I love that, Tom. She's a pretty fish! Oh, well hooked. <sighs> well hooked. Look at that. There we go. Close teeth on that baby. The pink balloon in the ling's mouth is caused by barrow trauma. This is where the swim bladder has expanded because we've brought it up from depth. This is a ling. Looks heavy. What are we guessing, Tom? 250 kilos? <laughs> yeah. There we go. These are really good eating. The ling, and look at the teeth on it. Some teeth. Imagine the size of bait that this guy can eat. He's also got this little barbel here. Uh, very obviously a ling with that there. This was what was inside the ling. So he coughed this up on the deck just after we caught it. And that just shows you the sort of size of bait you might be using. It's quite a big, big bait. That's like 200 millimeters. Obviously it's well chewed, but yeah, it gives you an idea of what, what sort of size of fish the ling might be eating. We're gonna head back in and try and uh, catch some more mackerel. It means we used quite a few for bait. Pretty much the end of the day. Uh, I've had a really good day. It's been a really good day out. Caught quite a few fish. We've done well with the uh, mackerel actually, and some whiting. And we picked up the ling, which was a nice bonus. 